Hey everybody, Canadian Trapper. Well, uh, I have a local company who called me. Um, they're having issues with beavers. Um, the beavers are cutting trees and they're dropping them on the power lines. We got some three phase power in there and uh, it's happened about three times in the past two weeks. So they're getting a little frustrated with their plant having to shut down uh, due to power loss due to beavers. So they gave me a call. They want me to come over and take a look. So uh, we're going to go check it out and see if we can't uh, stop this problem from happening again. All right, guys. Well, here we are at the uh, nuisance beaver spot. Uh, I'm going to show you what the problem is and what I got the call for. It's uh, kind of a serious issue. Uh, we have a drainage ditch right in here, as you can see, that's kind of flooded. Uh, right now, I'm guessing there's probably only a couple beavers in here. They're just starting to get established. But the uh, caller, when they called me, they said the problem is they run a big plant that's just over there through the trees and uh, the beavers are dropping poplar and they're taking out those power lines, which is three phase power. So uh, the power company came in yesterday and did a little bit of cutting, but the company wants to get rid of the beavers and I can see why because uh, the little bit of cutting that they did do uh, to remove the trees, I don't think is enough. We've got all kinds of poplar there right on the other side of those power lines. So, I mean, they cut one of those trees, they're taking them out again. Then I had to talk to the owner of this business over here. He gave me permission to come back. I explained the situation to him and uh, he could see the problem. Uh, be in the, in the fall now as well. Uh, we all know what the spring rains, uh, there's a little bit of water here now, but we could see how this uh, basin could definitely fill up next spring. And when I explained that to him, he uh, understood that there could be some water issues next year because this building is literally right there. And when I also explained to him about the problem with the trees falling on the power lines, I'm going to take a look at there. There's a great big poplar, all heavily weighted with branches on the right side. Well, I guess if the beaver's cutting that one, they're probably going to go right into his building. I'm going to, uh, go find to work and put some traps. I brought some lure and uh, I'll show you the setup when we get going. Searching around, there's only one place I can figure that this beaver's living, unless he's coming from another area. This is so new, there's no real runs or crossovers or anything yet. They haven't been established, so. But there's a pipe there. It goes back in underneath that bank. And I decided I'm gonna put my first set right in next to that tree. It gives me a tie-off point. I wanna make a nice slide there, I'll make a caster mound set. Cause there's a lot of trees here. He's been coming up and cutting. We got one right here. He obviously was up here over the past little bit cutting that one. Mind you, the rest of them were cut by NB Power. There's another one up there. A little somewhat of a, a run, I guess. So I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean out that area, brush it up a bit, start with my 330 there. So here we are up at the upper end. Here's where the water comes up. Uh, spot there where there's some mud on the bank, but it doesn't look like a very good place for me to put a trap. Mind you, here's the little dam they got made. So I, uh, I'm going to put a dam break set in here, I think. And uh, I'll show you the other one I set next to the uh, hole down there when I walk them back by. I opened it up. Uh, it's not running like I would like it to, but it's still running. I made sure I dug it down deep enough right there so the water's gonna continue to run. And that's enough to, uh, to get them to come check it out anyway. So I'll put my trap in. I'm gonna put it back a little bit and uh, I'll show you when I'm done. All right, there it is. So uh, I got a pretty good flow. I got a couple guide sticks there just to kind of push them into so that. So I got one right there. I got a 280 right there and then I got a 330 right in there. I already showed you the dam break set which is up there. So I've got uh, beaver lure on each one, some chew sticks and uh, they're well secured. So I'm going to come back tomorrow morning and see uh, if we've had any luck. It's the next morning. I uh, haven't made my check yet but uh, I'm going to take a little walk in here. And See if we've had any success. Well, let me see. Walk over this way. Uh, that doesn't look good. Here's that 280. 
right there. No luck on that one. And uh, there's the 330. So here's hoping that uh, the reason he's not down here is we got him in the dam brake set. So let's keep going up and check her out. Looks like he's a pretty good at piling wood. Maybe I should hire that beaver. Well, there he is. Got him in the dam break. Let's take a walk over and check her out. Awesome. That's great. Well, there we go, guys. It's a good catch. Snapped him right behind the neck. Uh, couldn't have worked out better. So, I'm gonna uh, pull him out of this set and uh, I'll probably reset that dam break just to make sure. But like I said, I don't think there's a lot in here. One, there might be another one, but we'll see go get them out and we'll remake the set so hopefully uh, that's the end of this uh, company's nuisance beavers So our sets are remade, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll get another catch. I'll pop back by in the morning and uh, see if we got another one. But I'm figuring I got those two sets down there with lure. This one, the dam break. Uh, if I don't get one, probably by Friday morning. Uh, I'm guessing that's it. Again. Thanks for watching.